Hello, Jennifer Harris with this episode of Fermented Science. Today's topic, what was the first ferment? Fermenting was first described as respiration without air by early French microbiologists that were studying the science behind the fermentation process. When looking at an active fermentation, it is easy to spot bubbles rising to the surface. This first observation baffled scientists as they were determined to figure out how these bubbles were being formed in a liquid medium that had no air in it. Although, long, long before Louis Pasteur was studying this phenomenon in the 19th century, humans had been consuming fermented foods and beverages. In fact, anthropologists and scientists have studied artifacts that point to fermentation as a staple in diets across the world dating back to 1500 BC. Before humans were planting agricultural crops, they were hunting and scavenging for each meal. Although bacteria and yeast were a part of each food item that they would have consumed, scientists have pondered what would have been the first food or beverage that humans would have purposefully fermented. This study has led many scientists to the honeybee. Apis mellifera, or the western honeybee, is the most popular of honey-producing bees today. But these little buzzers had ancestors all over the world. Bees are thought to be one of the first living creatures with which we humans had a symbiotic relationship. These incredible creatures create honey by collecting nectar from flowers and storing it in their stomach on the way back to their hive. Inside of their stomach, which is called a crop, are 13 strains of beneficial bacteria which change the pH of the nectar on the flight back to the hive. When the bees return home, they actually regurgitate the nectar and deposit it into their honeycomb. At this time, the pH has been lowered, but it isn't the thick and gooey honey that we know and love. It is too liquidy when first deposited, and so it is the job of other bees in the colony to fan the nectar with their wings so as to evaporate off some of the water content. When it becomes thick enough, the bees will apply a thin layer of wax on the top of it to seal it up and keep it safe for when they may need it next. As humans first began to harvest honey from bees, they would take more than they could eat at one time. In their attempts to store the honey for a later time, the bacteria, which first came from the honeybee's stomach, would have begun a natural fermentation process. Many scientists believe that fermented honey, an ancient variety of mead or honey wine, was the very first fermented delicacy enjoyed by humans. I'm Jennifer Harris, and thanks for watching Fermented Science.